this is the FPA's BS8414 uh, testing rig. We currently have three of these rigs in operation. Um, we are currently in the process of sorting out building a fourth rig as well um, to allow our customers a, a shorter lead time um, because these get booked up very, uh, very quickly by people. It's a very popular test at the moment. Um, we currently have um, uh, the accreditation to do these tests for the 2015 uh, BS8414 test standard and then we also have the 2020 BS8414 test standard accreditation um, which has a few changes in it. Uh, it's ma mainly around having a slightly taller test rig um, and so for this purpose this rig that you can see behind me um, is being knocked down and replaced with, with two slightly taller rigs um, which you'll see later uh, we can go around to the other ones. Um, so uh, the test essentially itself what happens uh, as, as a client you book out uh, one of our test rigs for however many weeks you'll require, require it. Um, and then you essentially get given uh, a metal frame onto which you have to install your cladding system. So uh, we do a variety of cladding buildups here. We have tested um, buildups for either um, for manufacturers who want to test a, a, a new buildup of a compl completely new system. Um, we have tested systems that uh, are on uh, new build buildings. Um, and then we've also tested quite a lot of uh, systems that are on existing buildings. The tests that we do for existing buildings um, tend to be the most popular at the moment. Um, that's all of our current clients that are on site are testing buildups for buildings that are actually out there at the moment um, and occupied by people. Um, the test itself is a fairly simple test. Uh, we have uh, this wall, which is um, roughly 10 meters tall, uh, at the bottom of it, in this sort of bush shelter shape here, we put a big fire, we have a large wooden crib, which is one meter deep, one meter tall, 1.5 meters wide. Um, we light that crib and it burns for a total of 30 minutes, at which point we extinguish it. At the end of that 30 minutes, you then have a period where we uh, observe the wall to see if there's any residual burning in the system um, or any fire spread that's still going on. This is a system that was tested earlier today um, as you can see, the effect of the fire is really just a bit of heat scorching on the front of it. There hasn't been a huge amount of, of structural damage to the system, but it's, uh, it's a brickwork system, so it's sort of what you would expect from that. Um, in terms of uh, the data during the test, we have uh, sets of thermocouples. So two meters above the burn, uh, two and a half meters above the burn chamber, we have um, well, the first set of thermocouples, that's level one of thermocouples, and then two and a half meters above those, we have the second level. So the test itself starts when the thermocouples at the first level reach 200 degrees. That means that the fire has grown to the point where the test, the test is now uh, starting. Um, and the flame tips will just lick up to that height. You'll see the thermocouples are sort of uh, uh, pretty much where the top of the tip of that scorch mark is. And then from then onwards, we're measuring for fire spread from that point up towards the, the second level of thermocouples. The big difference for the 2020 test standard is that we now have a third layer of thermocouples as well, which sits another two and a half meters taller. So obviously our test rigs have had to get slightly bigger to accommodate this, um, which is why we'll be uh, moving over to our new test rigs very soon uh, with, the, with the bigger height and, and this, this rig's being dismantled. At the end of the test day, um, you will then get, uh, so, so when you're, if you're on site here for the test, uh, you will get to watch um, the videos as they are recorded on the day. You get to see the test itself. Um, you also get um, access to the data from the video, uh, from, from the test. Um, then once, once we have the data, we then take it off the, uh, off the data logger. Um, we create some nice looking uh, graphs in, in a spreadsheet for you. Uh, which explains exactly what was happening temperature-wise during the test. And then at the end of that, after about six weeks' time, we'll have compiled a report which has all the data in it. Uh, you get the BS8414 test report, which essentially describes the buildup as it was tested. It has photos of the installation in it. It has photos from the test. It has photos of the dismantling afterwards. Um, and then you also get the BR135 classification, which essentially states whether or not it met the requirements of, of BR135, um, which are the, the requirements themselves are flame spread criteria. So that is whether the flame 
thread to the, the, the top of the test rig, and then also mechanical performance. So that's uh, looking at large pieces of debris falling from the building, anything that, um, that might danger p endanger people escaping the building or might endanger the fire and rescue service, uh, potentially putting out the fire themselves. So this is an example of um, the cladding system that, uh, that we tested earlier today. Um, so the components that make up the system itself we have uh, working from the inside out, you've got the internal dry lining, which is what you normally see on the inside of the building. You then have this, which is called the SFS, the, uh, the structural frame system. Uh, this is um, a steelwork system, uh, sort of like a, a, a modular um, stud wall system uh, made out of steel, which they, they fit together sort of like Meccano bits. Um, and that's what infills inside the, the structural steelwork that actually makes up the floor slabs of the building. Um, you then have on the outside of that, you will have a layer of insulation. On this specific system, uh, it's quite a, quite a small level of it, layer of insulation, um, but obviously all systems are different. They, uh, you'll, you'll, you can have up to 180, 200 mil thick insulation, depending on the individual building. Um, then behind that, you have, because uh, this is a brickwork system, you have the metalwork uh, brick supports. If it's a, uh, an aluminium rain screen system, um, or potentially an, an HPL system, then you'll have some sort of um, vertical and horizontal steelwork um, helping hand system, which will then hold the, uh, the, the facade on through the insulation. Whereas this system, you can see, uh, they have these metal support channels which run vertically, and then that ties into the brickwork at the front. And then, as you can see on this system, we've got a, um, a brickwork facade, but like I said before, we've, we've tested all sorts of materials. You can get some systems that are just a single sheet of aluminium. We've had aluminium honeycomb systems. Uh, we've had steel facade systems. We've also had um, HPL, which is high pressure laminate systems tested. Um, so it, it, it sort of depends on, on whatever system is on a building uh, out there on high rise stuff, whether it's brickwork or whether it's modern aluminium rain screen, uh, we, can, we can test it here and, uh, and it all gets put through the same test. So this is what you'll get uh, when you arrive at the FPA as a, uh, as a prospective client for a BS8414 test. Um, so essentially you have a big steel frame, uh, which is the, essentially the blank canvas that every single 8414 test starts with. Um, onto that, the first thing that gets added is the, uh, the MetSec frame that we spoke about in the other rigs. Um, and then you will then attach a, a sheathing board onto that and then any bracketry and then finally the insulation and the facade onto that. The way that all of our test processes start, so obviously every project starts with the initial inquiry. Um, after the inquiry, uh, we essentially will decide whether, uh, wh whether your system is appropriate for this test um, or if there's a different test that you should be doing for your, for your individual system. Uh, generally with, with most high-rise cladding systems, the BS8414 test is, is the most appropriate that we have in this country. Um, we, uh, we will then review whatever materials uh, you're planning on testing uh, as part of the test. Uh, we can give you some advice uh, for if, it, if it's a system that, that we don't think uh, is actually is, is appropriate for this test. Um, if we don't think it's going to pass for any reason, you can sort of save yourself a bit of money by not even bothering testing it, just, just getting it replaced, which has happened in the past. Um, but generally what we'll, what we'll do is we, we ask for the drawings of the system that you want to test. Uh, the materials involved um, will then give you the dimensions of the test rig so you can then create a bespoke drawing of the test rig as it sits uh, and what you actually what you actually want to test um, and then from then we'll work out the time scales of the project and all projects are different so uh, if you're for instance uh, installing a brickwork system that has a curing time or a render system which will be the same then we have to factor in however long it takes to cure. And that's generally based on the, the manufacturer's recommendations and guidance. Um, obviously, f uh, aluminium rain screen systems don't require that, so we can get them done um, not generally a fair bit quicker. Um, and our timescales tend to depend on, on what you, the customer, wants uh, from your test. If you, if you want the system uh, built quickly and you can facilitate it being built quickly, then we're on hand to test it quickly. Um, a lot of them tend to be a case of can we get it tested yesterday, uh, which we try our best with, uh, and that's why we are uh, building a fourth test rig to sort of open up a bit more and, and, and give us a load more testing slots, because at the moment our, our slots get booked up very quickly. However, 
uh, once you're on the waiting list for a testing slot, then if we ever get any cancellations or anything along those lines, um, then we can sometimes shift things around and push people up the order a little bit if need be. Um, but the actual, the actual test itself generally, um, in terms of uh, the time spent assembling the wall, it ge we generally say, say it takes between two and three weeks to actually um, create a uh, build a cladding system for the test. Um, and then uh, any curing time that is required will be added on to the, to the end of that. And then we will test it the final week and it can only be demolished in two or three days af after the test has happened. Um, so it w we're generally talking from a minimum of around three weeks for a test to a maximum of really around seven to eight weeks uh, for most systems. So hopefully that's given you a good overview of our BS8414 cladding testing capabilities. Um, if you have any questions about cladding testing in general or facades, um, if you think you know of a cladding, test, a cladding system that might need testing, um, or you're just, you're just unsure about what sort of systems need testing or what sort of systems can be tested, uh, then feel free to get in touch.